It's Brian Preston, the money guy. There is there's a problem I feel like in some parts of society, especially with with children who come from more than broke. Is that you get this feeling of entitlement, you know, oh, that yeah. when good things are happening, you know, that you worry, do the kids appreciate what's going on? Sure, you know, yeah. the fact that I only got to go to Disney once as a kid, but my daughters have gone a bunch of times. Yeah. Do they do they appreciate it? Is there is are they liking what's going on here? The way you can offset that, and this is a powerful thing, always say thank you. Yeah. Um, Bo, you have that friend, that client who I mentioned, I grew up with his daughter. He, when we were in Georgia, loved to take us to lunch. Yeah. I think part of the reason he loved to take us to lunch and pick up the tab, by the way, was because w- you and I, we have no problem just telling because I really am so thankful. Yeah. Somebody wants to, I can remember, I have so many childhood memories. Well, not childhood. I was an adult, young adult when I was right out of college, broke as a joke. And I'd go out with, you know, one of my friends at the time and his dad, we, cause it was Georgia football. We go to an event and then after the football game, you know, his dad would just pick up the whole tab. And I, I can remember being 23 years old and being at a decent restaurant. Well, it doesn't even have to be. It could be Chili's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd be like, oh, my God, this is going to be $50. I, I don't have – man, $50 is going to – do you know it's how much hurt. I'm about to give up? I'm not going to be able to eat lunch for a week <laughs> because this daggum dinner is going to cost me $50. And then he would pick up the, the tab for everybody. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, my God, this is a godsend. This is this is just such a big – and I would gush on him. I would tell him, thank you, thank you, thank you. You have made my night that you picked up the tab yeah. for us. Bo, you do that. When we go out to lunch with people, if you ever get a free meal, if you get – heck, and you're, you've completely conned me in your entire career here. <laughs> you've made me feel so good about doing things as you've excelled and, and gone. And you're, you're good at what you do, sure, too. Sure, but sure. I, I want you to tell that that mentality of uh, uh, being thankful – and always appreciating somebody doing something for you. If you just will make sure you say thank you and then let people know how appreciative it is, people want to repeat. Yeah. I mean, half the, remember we said that it is much better to give than to receive. So that when we've told you it increases, it can boost your health wise, it boosts your mood. You know what is an exponential factor on that is that the person receiving it just is completely awestruck yeah. by your generosity. Yep. I mean, when I can, some of the things that have shaped me is when you go work at a soup kitchen growing up. And, and I remember going and working and, and you're giving out stuff and the people who would be so thankful, it, it just warmed your soul. Yeah. I mean, you yep. just felt yourself getting better. And then the people that came through and they just seemed like the world was on their shoulders and they hated, even though you're trying to serve and they, it did, it had the exact, it kind of extinguished the flame sure. a little yep. bit. So, if you can be one of those people that's, that says, I am always going to be thankful and I'm going to make sure that I tell people thank you for what they do, sure. you're going to notice this beautiful side effect is more stuff is going to happen yeah. for you. So that's probably a great way to, to close this thing out is to say, be thankful for what you have. I will tell you kind of on that same vein, this is a great way to close it out. We are so thankful for you guys. If you have any clue, we just got back from podcast movement and I had no idea how cool this journey we are. We, we, we're, we're doing good things, yeah. Bo. I mean, yeah. and, and we've been doing, doing this through 2006 and I am so thankful for all of our listeners who, who've been with us for over a decade yeah. now. You, you stay true to us. You listen to us. You give us, you know, you, you follow us on Twitter. You give us comments. You give suggestions to the show. It, it, it has blown my mind. It has allowed us to do so much in our personal lives. And we've tried to give back business-wise by growing the show. Now we're doing it through the YouTube channel. Go subscribe. Thousand bucks might be in your hands because yep. of you do it. It's all of this mentality of giving back. And we couldn't have done it without you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you for just listening to the podcast, tuning into the podcast, and being part of the Money Guy family um, and, and maybe you've listened long enough that you're like, I am part of this family, but I also would love to have a financial planner that could help me take to the relationship to the next level. Reach out to us. Go to the contact section on moneyguy.com, abound.com, aboundwealth.com, because you're going to notice it's not just me and Bo. Mm-hmm. We have a whole team of people who have this abundance mindset that yep. believe we really can do some incredible things just by planning and thinking about money in, in a very positive and creative way.